Hello and welcome to session seven. Uh, this is about parent teacher conferences. So working uh, with children with special needs or working uh, with general ed children, you will be facing parent teacher conferences. And um, sometimes you have to tell parents some information that they might not really want to hear. And especially when dealing with children with special needs or needing to be evaluated. And so really your job is to always act in the best interest of the student. Um, and that can't, that's not always the easiest thing to do, but it is very, very important. So I hope that this session will give you some tools on how to always work in the best interest of the child and act with compassion and act with understanding when it comes to families dealing with their children um, and hearing things that they don't necessarily want to hear. So I've put uh, some different resources for you and and I hope that you pay close attention uh, to these resources um, and you know, think back on your experiences perhaps in the classroom or perhaps uh, dealing with um, your own experience, your own children or, or, or your own, yourselves um, and how that helps. Um, something good to always keep in mind is it's really hard to lead with bad news. Um, so one of the techniques that we talk about a lot is sandwiching is making sure that you're telling positive aspects of the of the child, as well as where you see deficiencies or where you think uh, that it, the child can be helped. Um, making sure that um, you keep yourself safe. Um, just one of the things they don't cover here is if you're going to have a difficult conference is letting people know ahead of time um, and also making sure that you um, are closest to the door so you can always get out so you don't want to be blocked. Um, you know, generally these things go a lot smoother than you would think, um, but there's always unexpected bumps in the road. So making sure that you cover your bases, um, having artifacts to support uh, what you're saying about the child, whether it be portfolios or anecdotal records, but having something that you can give an example. So it's not just enough to say um, Johnny's disruptive in class, but to talk about, you know, for example, last week when we started uh, the session um, on division, he stood up and he refused to sit back down in his seat and he was poking his friend and uh, through repeated attempts to get him to sit down, they weren't successful and so he ended up missing the majority of the lesson. So making sure that you have those things at the disposal, it's not just enough to say it, um, to be able to back it up. Um, and then giving parents time to absorb. Um, you also don't want, if you're saying that a child needs um, special help, um, this shouldn't be the first conversation. So you should have had some things leading up to it so that you can reflect back and remember last week when I was telling you that I was really concerned about Johnny's behavior, it's still really an issue and it's something that we need to think of some strategies on how to deal with. So this, the first meeting should not be the one where you're initiating that the child needs help. You build. So you build that relationship of trust and you really build that relationship where you're giving um, evidence to what you're trying to say. Uh, and if a parent really disagrees with what you're saying, giving them opportunities perhaps to observe in the classroom or to see for themselves um, or to talk to somebody else who's also had the same experience. So have a good uh, week reading the materials and uh, I look forward to seeing you next session. Thanks so much.